Hi there and welcome to Quick Tips. In this Quick Tip video I'm going to go and find an old stereo recording of mine, import it and try and detect the tempo. Here's the track. My track is definitely out with the generic 120 beats per minute. So I'm going to go and clean up the track a bit before I tempo detect it. To start with, I'm going to get rid of any blank information at the start and I'm going to grab my selector tool and delete it. Then grab my arrow tool and drag the track forward so it starts at 1. Let's go back and have another listen to different parts of the track. So I am consistently out with the click track. So I'll go up to the project menu and select tempo detection. Now a new window appears. I want to click on the analyze button and Cubase will analyze my stereo track and put in a number of tempo markers on the new tempo track that match the warp tabs at the top of the timeline. These are the new tempo markers. My track should now be in time with these new tempo markers. If I don't think a segment of the track is perfectly in time, I can simply pick up on a marker or a tab point and drag it to where I think it should sit. If your track has been detected in half time or double time, you can simply use the multiply by or divide by buttons over in the tempo detection box. It may have also analysed your track on the offbeat, in which case you can use the offset correction button to correct that. You may have picked up that my track has moved from 4-4 to 1-4. This always happens when we hit analyse. Now we can change our time signature back by going to the start of the track and clicking on the time signature box and changing that back to 4-4. When I'm certain that my warp tab points are in the right place, I can go to Audio, Advanced and Set Definition from Tempo. Now I can write the tempo to the track or to the project. In this case, I'm going to use the project. I'm also going to set all tracks to musical mode. Clicking on the arrow button will take me out of tempo detection mode. So now we're back in the normal tempo mode. And the track is smoothly playing along with a click track. Now that we've sorted our tempo out, we can go down and change tempo modes. So we can turn the tempo track off and type in any tempo. Cubase has detected the tempo and we can speed it up or slow it down. 